Hello, welcome back to a new YouTube video. If you're new here, my name's Katie, I'm a full-time artist, and today I want to share a paint with me. Slightly shorter than usual because it's an unfinished spread, but I thought it was really important to show you that not all of my sketchbook spreads or my artwork gets finished. I often have half-finished pieces in my sketchbook and I just want to share that on social media, it's not always the full picture. I have a whole other sketchbook that I don't share on Instagram or YouTube and that's just for my Patreon and that's filled with things like material experiments and swatches and a lot of the pieces that you kind of expect in a sketchbook. So I did draw out the full panel page on my sketchbook as you can see here but I do only finish the top one in this video. This was quite a different piece for me because I'm trying to expand out of my usual colour palette and I'm using just four colours so you'll have seen I picked out four luminance coloured pencils and I'm using those as my base and then trying to match my gouache to those colours. So I'm using a mix of De La Rowney and Winsor & Newton gouache and then the white is from a big tub of Royal Talons gouache just because I use white so much so it makes it a lot more cost effective to mix that in with the designer's gouache I have. So I use my gouache quite watery and wet and you can see I'm placing that on the page with this big round headed brush. I really enjoy using those brushes because it gives me a lot of texture and means I can fill the page quite quickly. I water it down so that I can blend it really nicely. Because it is quite thin it does dry quite quickly and means I can come in with my coloured pencils over the top. The image that I'm referencing is from a local Facebook group site that I'm part of which is for the local area and I got permission from the photographer to draw and paint this in my sketchbook. I was planning on this to be an Instagram post but because it is unfinished I thought I would just share it here on YouTube with you instead. So the four colours that I'm basing this spread on are from the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil range. So I've got the 661 Light Cobalt Blue, the 832 Brown Ochre 10%, the Burnt Ochre 077, and then the Herculaneum Red 068. And these colours are quite washed out. The dark tone I'm using is the Burnt Ochre, but I do think that this spread turns out a bit more wishy-washy than I'd wanted it to and I definitely could have used a much darker tone for the contrast and to add on the details at the end. A lot of the times when I create and paint I stick to the reference and I always use the same sort of colours because I do so many landscapes. I have a definite comfort zone when it comes to colour so I really wanted to try and push out of that for this piece. Um, I don't often use very limited colour palettes, so using just four was quite tricky for me, meant I had to change what I was seeing to work with the colours that I had. It definitely didn't turn out how I wanted it to in my head. A lot of the times I do really bump up the vibrancy and the saturation of my reference photos, and so the colours aren't often accurate because I do bump that up. But for this one I had to change the colours completely, so there was these hills with the trees on top in the distance that you can see I'm putting in here now and I had to change that to blue. I think if I had had a darker colour or mixed up maybe the burnt ochre in the gouache then that would have worked better just to add that contrast to the piece which I think it is missing. But it does give a really ethereal look to it. I think it feels quite otherworldly and quite magical which is nice and I, I think it does capture the serene feeling from the sunset photo. It's just lacking in that final finish I think which would have worked well with a darker pencil over the top. So I did paint this quite a few months ago and I had the footage left over but I do feel like I've learned a lot about colour recently. I've just filmed a video which has just gone up on my Patreon all about colour palettes and how I pick colours. And I do talk in that video about how I have a comfort zone and usually use the same ones. I talk about my favourite shades, but I also share about like highlights, mid-tones and dark tones and how important they are. And I think since filming this video I've realised that and had I known that when I was filming this at the time it would have looked quite different. 
I think it would have worked with a navy to really tie in the darker details. So where I'm putting in the trees here, I think they would have worked well if it was more of a silhouette in the distance and had this light blue as a darker navy. And I'm not sure if I'm going to come back to this spread. I often have good intentions to come back and finish a spread in my sketchbook. Like I said at the beginning, I do have quite a few unfinished or half-finished pages in my sketchbooks. But I always move on quite quickly. I work very quickly anyway, so I don't tend to spend a long time on my artwork. And so this one is still sitting unfinished. But I'd love to know if you're the same, if you're an artist who comes back to things or if you just move on and leave things undone. I'm adding on these lines here to the foreground with the Van Ocker pencil and I really love that. I do do that with a lot of my landscapes, adding on lines and scribbles and I think that helps it feel a bit more like me. There was a little seagull sat on a stone there which I'm adding in to the picture now as well as like the groins and I think these tiny details definitely help you see what the actual subject of the picture is, but I think it would have worked better with a darker pencil. I am really happy with the colour combination, I think it's a really warm colour palette. The light cobalt blue is a really lovely shade, it's definitely my favourite shade of blue because it does have that warmth, and I think it does pair nicely with the other colours and the oranges and the sort of pink shades. I definitely want to practice colour palettes more and I think that's going to be a resolution in 2023 with my artwork to really push out of my comfort zone and try new things and really learn more about colour theory and how I apply that to my artwork in the future. I do add my little colour palette to the page underneath the panel but I really hope you enjoyed watching this one and I hope it was nice to see just a really simple and quite quick process. I did want to emphasize the fact that not all my artwork is finished and that's totally okay. So thank you so much for watching this one, I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you next Sunday with a new video. See you later! Mm -hmm.